Hey, what's up everybody? This is Norris again, and today I'm going to show you three ways how to style your perfectly tailored suit. Um, if you've been following any of my other videos, I teach you the complete process of how to get your suit tailored start to finish from goofy to great. So again, I'm going to show you how to style that perfectly tailored suit three ways. Today I'm going to be using a navy suit, a white Oxford dress shirt, a vest, denim jacket, brown double mop dress shoes, navy penny loafers, and white sneakers. And for accessories, I'm gonna be using a necktie, a bow tie, a pocket square, and a pair of colored socks, never wear black socks, and a gold watch. As you can see, this first look is more of a business office look. Um, this is something you can wear to work. Not only do your boss, but still be nice and clean because you still want people to know that you have a sense of style. Um, also, pay close attention to the navy suit because the navy suit is very universal. You can wear it to work, you can wear it to weddings, you can wear it to um, interviews. So keep in mind, when you purchase the suit, the navy suit is always a very good option. I coordinated my pocket square with my socks. They have the same kind of hint of tan in it, so you always want them to coordinate, but not like necessarily match. I kept the tie nice and clean, um, three stripes. Um, the navy in the tie coordinates with the navy in the suit, and it also goes very nicely with the pocket square. Okay, we're gonna move down to my shoes. Um, these are double marks. They're very classic men's shoe. Um, you can wear them with chinos, jeans and also with suits. This is a style aesthetic. Never buckle the second buckle on your shoe. Um, I like it because it just gives off a little personal style. You can buckle yours, but for me, um, I, I never do it. And also the socks. I have a rule, never wear black socks. So I try to wear some type of pop of color. Um, in some of my videos or my blog posts, you'll see um, multiple colors, but one nice colored sock is all you need. Okay, some of you all will have belt loops with your dress pants. I never wear belt loops because I like the, how clean it is. I don't have to go through the hassle of trying to match my shoes with my belt um, because it's very important. So if you have belt loops, be sure to get a coordinating color to match your shoes. My gold watch is just an accessory. Wearing a business suit, you always want to have some type of uh, watch on. For me, I like colored gold, so it works nicely with my entire suit. Last but not least, let me give you a quick style tip. Um, if you look closely, you don't see any shirt underneath my white dress shirt. That's because I didn't wear a white t-shirt, I wore a gray t-shirt. The gray keeps it dark underneath and you don't see a shadow underneath your dress shirt. Okay, on to the next look. Okay, we're here with look number two. As you can see up top, I switched up my necktie for my bow tie. Um, same pocket square, same white dress shirt, same navy jacket, and I added a tan waistcoat, which is also known as a vest. The vest gives an illusion of a three-piece suit. Um, three-piece suit is a little bit more formal. Um, I like it because it's layers, and it also keeps you warm leaning into the fall without wearing an overcoat. So moving along down to the dress shoes, there's a rule. The less detail a dress shoe has, the more formal it is. So these penny loafers work well with the three-piece look that I'm wearing. If you go into a formal event, black tie event, and you don't have a, a tuxedo, this is a perfect way to give an illusion like you're wearing a tuxedo. You have a vest, you have a nice tailored suit, and you have dress shoes that are not too bulky and not that much detail in them. Okay, moving along to the final look. Okay, we're here with our final look. This look right here is probably more my style than any of the looks that I showed you because it has a nice dapper 
feel to it, but still has a semi-casual look as well. A key to pulling this outfit out is to keep a denim jacket and a pair of white sneakers in the trunk of your car or in your gym bag so you can easily switch out from formal to semi-casual. Well first, if you notice, I took off my navy suit jacket and replaced it with the denim jacket. Also, I kept the pocket square and just simply pushed it down into the breast pocket of my denim jacket. Here's another style tip. I rarely wear bow ties without a vest because it's just too much space with your shirt. And the vest helps break some of that space up and keeps it nice and stylish. So moving on down to the shoes. Uh, the white sneakers simply helps coordinate the look together with the denim jacket. It might look a little goofy wearing a denim jacket with dress shoes, so having those white sneakers helps coordinate the whole semi-casual look together. Um, there are many classic styles you can wear. Um, you have your Adidas shell toes, your chucks, any shoe design that's nice and slick, less bulky, and classic. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this video gives you more options on styling your suit. Remember to subscribe to this style channel and also my blog at norrisdenta4.com. Until next time, see you next week.